What you want to make sure is to put it like this with the little loops going on the sprocket like that because in the other way sometimes it won't work good you put it on the back on the back driver necessarily right now it doesn't have to be on it but it does the same thing and you want to connect them like this then you grab the chain breaker for this is not going to be really that specific because I don't have a good filming technique or whatever you want to call it so you could also look around on YouTube to find it what you would just want to do is tighten it so the pin of the chain goes through the other side or to the other side and make sure it sticks out almost the same amount in each side of the pin and that's how you put the pin then you put it on the front sprocket then you'll want to for me I usually like my chain tight so you put it like this and then you just put the pull the back wheel as much as you can and just tighten it so it stays that distance Make sure it's not hitting any sides of the frame because that'll mess it up for you. You can also put your chain tensioners, which I have, but they add weight, so I took them off. So, pretty much, this is how you build the bike. But Right now you have to tighten everything, like this, the cranks, the bolts from the from the stem, and whatever you didn't tighten as good. Put and you could put it at the angle, like the handlebars. You could put it at the angle you want it, and the seat, which I'll do right now. Put I don't know if you guys want to watch that, but I'll do it either way. Okay, like right now you didn't tighten the headset too much so it will be moving a little bit and to fix that what you have to do is grab a 14 millimeter tool and tighten that as much as you can well not as much because then it won't move freely to do like bar spins and all that so let me put the camera right here and you gotta be feeling it that doesn't move too much because you want that and also you gotta tighten the handlebars at an angle and as tight as possible so it doesn't move what I do most people do is align the handlebars with the forks that's what I'm doing right now you tighten it as much each bolt but not too much so you don't strip it Okay, this is an example of why you shouldn't have tightened this bolt as much. Look, it barely moves. Like, it's really hard. So, you gotta loosen it. That doesn't work is because the, this bolt is too tight and it's not really loosening it. There, now it's loose. Tighten it, and it's kind of like trial and error. We're gonna keep doing it. 
until you're comfortable with it. See, damn it, I gotta fix it again. Yeah, I have to fix it again. Okay, there's your bike, ready to ride. If you have any questions, just comment and I'll see if I can try to help you. And if you don't want my help, you can just look it up on Google or go look at the other video of how to build a bike by Matt Wilhelm. Uh, for a little icon thing that you'll see is the green bike. I know his is better than mine, so don't bother saying that his is better than mine. Uh, next thing that you would want to do is just clean it like from the grease and the places are outside because it's dirty and there that's it go ready ride okay hope you like comment rate subscribe and thanks for watching Okay, hope you like it, comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.